What is up, my friends? My name is Echo Thrumi, and today we're taking a look at the unstoppable, the strongest Town Hall 9 attack strategy in Clash of Clans right now, in my opinion. So here we are taking a look at some replays from the most recent Macedon War and I have five or six Gobo Laloon attack strategies for you guys. What we're going to do today is take a look at them, break them down, figure out why this is such a successful Town Hall 9 attack strategy. And we're starting on this one right here from Zemzla. And as you can see, two Golem are coming in from the southwestern side of the base. Wizards are going to be behind to help create a funnel right here. And again, when you're going in with those Golem, the Bowlers are going to come in behind and the Heroes behind that. And the whole plan is to take out at least one or two air defenses. Two Golem usually means two ADs. ADs equal an air defense, in case you didn't know. And you're also trying to lure the clan castle and hopefully take down the enemy queen. So you have three objectives from the kill squad. Take down the air defenses, take down the queen, and take down the clan castle. If you get that done, it's a successful job done by the kill squad. As you can see right here, you're using that rage spell on those bowlers and on the kill squad getting to the base. Queen is down, poison spell on top of the clan castle. The baby dragon is all that's left. One air defense is already taken down. Uh, scratch that. Two air defense is already taken down. And that's all that needs to get done from the kill squad. Anything else after that is basically a bonus, guys. We have the Laloon portion of the attack starting right now. Lava Hound coming in from the south, moving its way up. Another Lava Hound coming in from the southeast. Balloons tra uh, trailing in behind with rage and haste to help them through. And basically, guys, there's only half of a base to take out after that. The kill squad did so much work. Such a beautiful strategy. This is so difficult to defend as a Town Hall 9. It's just, uh, you know, it's that's why I call the unstoppable attack although that's not exactly true not entirely true it is very hard to stop a town hall 9 v town hall 9 go Balloon attack especially when the kill squad gets the job done so right now there are no more defenses besides that cannon left in the base queen's working on that town hall right there we could just double time to the rest of it check it out guys the hounds did not even pop unbelievable Bowlers are coming in the clan castle. You're cooking up two hounds, cooking up two golem. You have balloons and you have a couple of wizards to help funnel. Maybe a few wall breakers if you want to bring them around. You don't really have to. And that's it, guys. As far as the spells go, we'll go over them in one second when this attack finishes up. Zamzella or Zamzella did a nice job on it. Really bringing in a, a beautiful triple. This was the highest or the, the uh, I guess, the strongest Town Hall 9 base attacked by this strategy in this war. Uh, and as you can see for spells, you have two poison, one jump to get the kill squad into the base, two rage, two haste. Really beautiful attack there. And I have more. I have plenty more. And we're going to get into another one right now. Actually, out of this war, guys, there were so many beautiful attacks with different strategies. But today, we're focusing on... Luna. And in this one right here, you'll notice there's only one golem. So the objective here with one golem is usually to go in and take out one air defense. But if you take a look at these ADs right there, guys, they are pretty close together. Let's see how well this works out. This is working a little bit differently because the, um, the golem is coming in. Oh, there is a second golem. I take it back. There's two golem. Scratch that. Don't listen to what I was just saying. I thought there was only one, but for some, I don't know why I thought that. Whatever, we're going in with that kill squad anyways right now, guys. The golem is walking the bowler. Uh, the uh, I'm sorry, the wizards are in. Here come the bowlers right by that um, golem. I'm all stuttered up over myself right now. Sorry. Wizards are there to help support as well. The king jumps in to help tackle down that, um, that kill squad. Or not the kill squad, the clan castle. There we go. Trying to get myself back on track right now. Bowlers not even making themselves into the base for the most part. Half of them did. One AD is down. Make that two air defenses. So you have right now the heroes are down, except for the king, which is fine because the rest of the attack is an air attack. Two ADs down, and you have the clan castle taken care for care of. Here come the hounds and the balloons coming in from the north, tanking those final two air defenses. Haste those balloons in there. You don't want them taking too long to get to where they need to be. And uh, here we go, right on top of the ADs. Is a hound even going to pop? It looks like one of them may being targeted. Actually, maybe both of them will. Traps. Oh, and it's going to pop soon. Here we go. Hasting on top of that AD right there. Air defense yet again. Expo, Wizard Tower, and Tesla left in this base. The rest of the base is being crushed. Another gorgeous attack with Gobo Loon with the same objective in mind. So the key that you're going to see in all these attacks is having a successful kill squad. With only two Lava Hounds, you don't want to have to tank more than two 
of those air defenses so you have to get the kill squad in there take care of the rest and then just allow your attack to uh to take place after that as you saw we had four swagged balloons at the end of that attack as well more to come more to come guys and here we go right in here alexander going in with go balloon same attack strategy same composition same spells actually yeah, one less poison in this one one more haste we got a drag coming in starting the funnel over here golem coming in next to it up in the east as you can see there's two air defenses right here in getting there the air the uh, clan castle will be lowered as well wizards are coming in cleaning things up in the eastern side of the base golem is tanking pretty nicely there and actually taking down that mortar king's coming in to uh help out with that funnel eventually we're going to see the bowlers coming in and just wreck those two air defenses they're going to come out of the cc as they always do here they come they're going to take out a couple of these garbage buildings then make their way into the base towards that jump spell taking out one ad two day ad's along the way and then the clan castle which was just lured by the golem as it jumped into the base valkyrie's in there but the bowlers are there the queen is there they are not going to be hurt by one valkyrie you also have that golem which was absorbing most of the heat one air defense already taken down the clan castle already lured the queen she's up here a little bit more let's see how that one's handled if she's going to actually be taken out by the kill squad if our queen is going to hop up in there and take care of that queen we'll see it looks like that's what's going to happen right here guys bomb tower is going to go down and then it's going to be queen on queen action right there and it got done the exactly the same thing the task at hand got done two air defenses a clan castle full of troops and the queen it's consistent guys you know what you have to do now i'm i'm, I'm kind of nailing it home with you guys right now you know what your kill squad needs to do you need to be able to take out those three things that's your your main objective with the kill squad put as many golem as you need into to complete that objective if you need an extra golem maybe because the air defenses are set deeper into the base take an extra golem bring a few ex a few lighter a few less balloons be lighter on balloons because if you don't get the ad's down the balloons aren't going to do much they're going to be taken down pretty quick so you could spare a few balloons maybe a few funneling troops possibly and bring an extra golem if you need to deepen the uh the push on the base and the rest is all clean up yet again as you can see the pups are coming in here cleaning things up along the way balloons are making their way around the base and uh you know go balloon is one of those attacks that does not take everything straight through like a bow witch or a witch slap attack where everything is cleared along the way these ones are going to take out the defenses along the way and then come back and clean up the rest after that we have alexandar again using the same strategy same composition and same result guys another triple coming in right here where would you guess this one's going to come where are the air defenses going to be pulled from this time i would assume you could come from the northeast or the southeast either way you'll be getting in towards that queen You'll be going in towards the clan castle and getting that objective done yet again. Wizards are in behind that golem. Wizards are a great troop. Good value for the amount of power that they throw. And um, behind the golem, they're pretty safe. You got the jump spell in the southeast side of the base. The golem coming in. You're going to have some bowlers coming in as well. We just want to make sure that funnel is nice and clear. Last thing you want on this strategy is for your bowlers to walk and not get into the core of the base. Because if you don't get the air defenses, you failed on the objective. And you have to get pretty lucky if you want the attack to actually go as planned. Now, look at this. You're looking a little nervous right here with those bowlers. They started to walk, but most of them turned back in the right direction. See, not all of them did, but most of them did we're gonna take down that cannon kill squads in there lowering the cc taking out the clan castle right now taking out one air defense and bowler bounce is helping out with that wizard tower didn't quite get it down though there is uh three more air d's or there are three more air defenses left in this base looks as if only one is going to go down right now it's it's a bit far for the queen to get through the wizard tower the expo the archer tower a wizard tower and then the air defense let's see if she can actually get through it she does take down the expo right there she takes down that right there she's gonna go back over to the cc which works out nicely and can she reach the other wiz the other um no she can't air defense she can't reach it so only one air defense was taken down looks like these lava hounds have some jobs to do right here guys let's see if they can get it done alexander definitely a beast with this attack strategy i've shown it on the channel before he gets it done quite often using gobo Laloon, and uh he's he's got a lot of practice on it so we have this one air defense right there which is going to cause some trouble on our balloons luckily there is a haste and a rage which is going to suck those balloons right over there so quickly so what this shows guys is there's even a little bit of room for error the plan was to get at least i didn't 
sit there throughout the planning, but my assumption is that the plan was to take down three ADs. It didn't quite work out that way, but the attack still got done and uh, and still dominated the base. We can double time through the rest. There's a couple of stuff things up here. No defenses left on the base. It's all just about cleanup right now with the pups, with the balloons. There's plenty of time to get it done. Look at those pups on that town hall, taking out some storages, pulling in the win, Alexander, with the six pack from this war. And like I said, guys, one more to share with you. Let's jump into that one right now. Here we go. Who is it? Sarah on this one going against another Town Hall 9 with Gobolo. And as you can see in this one, guys, more wizards in this attack. You have one heal, two, two rage, one jump, one poison. So she wants to heal up those, uh, those balloons, I would assume, at some point in time. We'll see how all that goes. Going in strong with the kill squad from the south. As you can see, this is a fairly narrow base with, with a little bit of funneling over there in the southwest. This could be a, a, a base that just gets taken on by Storm. Queen's already taking down one of the air defenses. Bowlers are getting themselves into the core of the base. Rage, rage spell dropped right there. And uh, the bowlers, the golem, into the center of the base. Going to work on those wizard towers. Take on the enemy king as well. Tesla goes down. And the air defenses are going to be... I, I think they're going to get to one more of the ADs. I think they, the queen is going to walk right over there no problem king and golem jumping into that wizard tower compartment looks as if they are going to be able to take out three air defenses on this hit i love it guys that was extra that needed to be that didn't even you know extra was done didn't need to worry about as much plenty of troops to finish off this base right now and uh, balloons are going to be getting in there on that air defense right there. Look at this. One of the Lava Hounds was not even dropped yet, guys. Unbelievable. The base has been crushed. And um, the Lava Hound wasn't pot, wasn't thrown in. I assume that's going to... There we go. It's going to come in and tank that Tesla farm. Because that's a pretty hefty area of the base right there. You want these balloons to make it over there. She's going to probably heal up right over that compartment. Right by the Wizard Tower. Over a couple of the Teslas. It's a little... It's a, it's a high fire area right there, guys. So heal them up. Keep them alive. Lava Hound's doing all right as well. Balloons are going to take down those Teslas. Pups are cleaning up over here. The attack is going very well and uh, well planned out. I love that she was able to get three air defenses down. And that left her that Hound to be able to tank for that really high hit point area of the, of the base where uh, we get to deal with those Teslas, the Wizard Tower, and that Expo. Unfortunately, there are a few traps beaten up on our balloons, but the Wizard's there trailing behind. Going to help clean that up if he could ever catch up to them. That's the base, though. That's the attack. That's the hit. That's the three stars. That's the six stars for some. That's the win on the base. And that's the attack strategy that I feel is the most legit attack for Town Hall 9. I really stand by that, guys. I think this is the strongest attack strategy at Town Hall 9 in Clash of Clans right now. There are also other attacks that are fantastic. I'm going to show some of you guys. I'm going to show some of them to you guys on another day. But um, these ones, really great. Unfortunately, Macedon lost this war. If we take a look at some of the some of the hits right here, you could look at the at the players, at the stars, at the heroes, at who did their best and, uh, and who struggled. But that's what it is, guys. So that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys have realized that Gobo Laloon is such a strong strategy and you're going to try it out for yourself. Remember, when you're practicing friendly challenges cook up the army and do 10 attacks without having to recook the army up with your friends with your clan mates so you can practice get it done learn how to get it done and then implement it in war when it's that time but that's been it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did subscribe to the channel turn on notifications i really want you guys here every single day with the clash co content that i bring to you every single day been stuttering over my words for whatever reason tonight maybe i'm a little tired that could definitely be it not really sure, but whatever. Sorry about it. Hope you enjoyed anyway. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and come chat with me on Twitter, at EchoThroughMe. Almost at 5,000 Twitter followers, guys. It's going to be an awesome day when I make it there. I love logging on Twitter and seeing messages from you guys. So hopefully I see you over there. Until tomorrow, be good.